Oh, hello. Do you have a warrant to be here? So again, this is another timeline, which is very damning to your evidence, to your testimony here today, Mr. Clark. So why don't you, we just, we just stop the lying. When did you have a conversation with the prime minister about the necessity for a new residence? Just tell the committee, please. You know, Mr. Chair, when we get to the point of accusing people of lying, I think that we are in very, very dangerous territory here. Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh, yeah. And then we'll continue with Mr. Hardy. Go ahead, Mrs. Goosey. Thank you, Chair. Mr. Clark, it's uh, it's just it's very concerning because there are some inconsistencies in the timelines and the testimony that you are giving the committee today. So I'm just going to out outline the first one that is that is very concerning to me as well as the committee. So you get appointed in February of 2023. Then we see you in a motorcade April 28th of 2023 with the Prime Minister, the individual who does the appointments. And in that video, in the motorcade, you say that in fact the Prime Minister was over at your place the evening before the residence of the 27th. And then, lo and behold, Global Affairs Canada that had put the project of a new residence on hold, all of a sudden, after your appointment, your dinner with the Prime Minister, and then being in the motorcade with the Prime Minister, Global Affairs Canada decides that there are issues with the, the, the current residents and that it is time to look for a new residence, apparently a $9 million residence. Isn't that convenient? So can you elaborate for the committee again, please? What was your implication in discussing the new residents with, with the department and with the Prime Minister, when did you first bring it up with the Prime Minister? Because the chronology would definitely, chron um, the chronological timeline would definitely indicate that you had conversations with the Prime Minister about the residents. Because isn't that funny that you would be appointed, you would have dinner with the Prime Minister, you would be in a motorcade with the Prime Minister, and lo and behold, Global Affairs Canada decides that it's time for a new residence after that visit. Isn't that funny? So just tell the committee now when you had the conversations with the Prime Minister about the new residence, because that's what happened. Isn't that right, Mr. Clark? Uh, no, Mr. Chair, it's completely wrong. Uh, I never spoke with the Prime Minister about the old residence or the new residence or any residence. The Prime Minister was not over at the residence for dinner. It wasn't just he and he. There were about 80 people there, including the mayor of New York City and including the head of BlackRock Investments, uh, as well as a number of other people. Uh, but the core of your question is, when did I or did I ever speak to anybody about this? The answer is unequivocally no. Well, I... Mr. Clark, it's very hard for myself to believe this. It's very hard for this committee to be this. So let's let's stop the lying. I'm going to go to another another timeline, which is which is just not very supportive of the of your testimony that you have not had these conversations with the Prime Minister. Okay, so there is an email from internal to Global Affairs Canada stating your involvement, outlining your involvement that sent on June 17th of this year. All of a sudden, in, in the media, which I know is your friend, uh, a story breaks on July 11th of the $9 million condo purchase. Then this email, this internal email, is sent on July 25th, which shows that you personally have green-lighted this project. And lo and behold, this July 25th, or correcting it, pardon me, correcting it on July 25th, uh, further to the July 11th um, email, which highlights your green lighting. But this July 25th email, lo and behold, it is one day after the committee passes the motion demanding uh, your, your appearance. So again, this is another timeline which is very damning to your evidence, to your testimony here today, Mr. Clark. So why don't you, we just, we just stop the lying. When did you have a conversation with the Prime Minister about the necessity for a new residence? Just tell the committee, please. You know, Mr. Chair, 
when we get to the point of accusing people of lying, I think that we are in very, very dangerous territory here. I will state once again for the member, I had nothing to do with the decision to sell the old residence or to buy the new residence. I did not speak to the prime minister about either of those transactions. Ever. Have the documents, Mr. Clark. We have the documents that indicate that you personally greenlighted this project. And lo and behold, so conveniently, after your time with the Prime Minister back in 2023, shortly after he appointed you, we know that you have had conversations with the Prime Minister about purchasing this $9 million residence on the backs of Canadians. And now we have the email trail that proves that as well. You have tried to cover it. Global Affairs Canada has tried to cover it. But the email paper trail does not lie. And so I'm not buying this. This committee isn't buying this, Mr. Clark, and Canadians aren't buying it. Uh, point of is, order, Mr. Chair. Yeah, sorry, let me interrupt for a sec. That is our time. We'll do your point of order, then we'll suspend quickly so we can yeah. uh, get Mr. Hardy checked voice-wise. Go ahead, Mr. Short. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I understand that uh, Ms. Cousy wants to use the term that the term we and the is, committee. Is he setting a standing I, order in this point of order, Chair? Yeah, Please this let is him finish like, the point of order. Go ahead, Mr. Short. Th thank you. I, I, I just take point with, uh, with the fact that not every member of this committee uh, is of the same opinion as Ms. Cousy which, which is. Which standing so, order is he citing in this uh, point of order? Uh, that's, thank which, you, Michael. Which rule, the, Mr. The, Genuous, please let yeah. him. Are you finished, Mr. Jari? Yeah, so just wanted thank to be on the record. The, okay. the Liberals are not in the same opinion as Ms. Cousy is. is. is this thank a you. point of order? I appreciate that. We're going to suspend for a few moments so we can check, uh, voice check Mr. Hardy. Just a few minutes. Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh, yeah. The one we call Canadian. Canadian. Say it! 